The Loughton LS208 versus the Sennheiser 416. Which one do you like better? From the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. So the 416 is a VO industry standard, and if you don't know that, then, well, you're probably not in the VO industry, but that's okay. My question today, and I'm switching manually, is if I'm going to plant my flag with the LS208, and make such a grand gesture as saying that this is going to replace most of the mics that I use for my work. I have to figure out, does it do a better job? Does it 416 better than the 416? Which one 416's better? And right away, I think you can hear a lot more detail in the 208 than you can in the 416. Now, both mics have no EQ on them. Uh, the 416 has a 60 hertz um, high-pass filter that is on the preamp on the MT-48. They're both running through the MT-48. And, hold on, oops. And the LS-208 has the 50 hertz high pass on it, uh, on the mic, and, you know, no EQ. So no EQ on either mic. So you're just hearing the natural sound. And again, I think that even, even on a phone speaker, you'll probably be able to hear the added amount of detail in the 208 than there is in the 416. Now let me just pop a little high end. Here we go, a little bit of extra EQ on it. Make, give it a little bit more sense of detail up top. But then it gets, it gets a little bit more crispy. That's a problem. The 416 is always a crispy mic, as far as I'm concerned, but you, do, you don't really get air, you know? So here, uh, let me, I don't wanna make this a big, long, drawn out video. I just wanna do a really simple, just sound, oops. A really simple sound test. I had them both on for a second. Really simple sound test. And uh, you tell me which one you like better. So um, I'm just going to do like a, a 416. I don't even have copy here. Um, so <laughs> here we go. Um, There's a lady who's sure all that glitters is gold. And she's buying a stairway to heaven. There's a lady who's sure all that glitters is gold. And she's buying a stairway to heaven. All right, so there's a definite difference between them. And as while I like the 416 in the application of dialogue, just spoken word, I feel like, again, we're talking about technology that comes from decades ago. The 416, you got to remember, the 416 originates from a design from the 70s. The 70s. It was designed to record to tape. Which is also why it has kind of a, I don't want to call it a bizarre EQ curve built into it. But it was kind of designed more for recording to like a Nagra, to tape, back in the day. Um, either way, we're talking about here and now, and my work today. So, uh, I, personally, I, I like this sound a lot better. I have never really been a 416 guy. I use it on a lot of work because it gets requested. But, you know, the, to me, the 416 is a, is a one-trick pony. It does that one trick really well, and it has that nice saturation when you really lean into it. But overall, when you really lean into this mic, I feel like you get a lot more going on. Now, here, I'm going to do one quick thing here. I've turned on the 10 hertz low pass to compare the sound of this with a 10 hertz low pass to this um and i think that for sure with the 10 hertz low pass i would i would pick the 416 i think the 416 sounds better but if i go back here and i take that off and i get more of a sense of detail i feel like i feel like i can really uh, you know what i feel like i feel like i can lay off my voice a little bit more i feel like i'm not pressing my voice so much to get the best tone out of it uh, like I would with a 416. Because if I speak in the same low volume, like this, a, more of a conversational, like this is the volume that I would speak at if, if we were sitting across the table from each other. Um, so when I, when I feel like I speak at this volume, as instead of speaking at this volume, when I press my voice a little bit more, you can hear more of that promo tone that cuts through uh, with a 416. But here I feel like, even in a natural voice, without having to push it, I'm getting more of my purr in there, which will help the voice cut through uh, music bed or whatever it has to do. So either way, 
What do you think? The LS208 versus the Sennheiser 416, 416, 416 Industry Standard. What do you think? I want to know. Leave a comment. Until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, Fading to Black.